All right, for this, this problem, it says find the equation of the parabola described. Find the two points that define the lattice rectum and graph the equation. So we have a focus at 0, negative 4, and then we also have a directrix at the line y equals 4. Well, before I even started doing anything on this problem, I think I would uh, just kind of make a quick sketch of what they just said. So they said we had a focus at 0, negative 4. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but just to get an idea of, of what it is that they're talking about. There's our focus. And they say we have a directrix is at the line y equals 4. So that would be here. So this is our y equals 4 or our directrix line. I'll put a little d there. Now I know from this information that this has to wrap around the focus, which tells me right now that it's going to open down before I do anything else. This also tells me right now that I have to have my vertex at the origin, because if you'll remember, your vertex is halfway between the focus and the directrix line. So you know, if it's uh, eight units between here, then that means that it has to be four units one way to the directrix, four units the other way to the focus. So right now we know that we have a vertex at zero, zero, and then it's opening down. Well now on the My Math Lab type problems, you know, you can do a little bit of process of elimination here. And you can say, okay, well since this is opening down, then that means that it really has to be this equation because this is the only one that is opening down. Now, if we did not have a, a, one of these to go by, we could still come up with that. You know, we could still say, well, okay, it's opening down, which means that its generic form should be uh, the y minus, uh, I'm sorry, whoops. That would be x minus h squared equals plus or minus 4a times y minus k. I'll get those straight there in just a second. Uh, so this is our generic form when it's opening either up or down. Because it's opening down, we know that our 4a position is going to be negative. And because we have 0, 0 for our vertex, that means our h and our k values are both 0, 0. So right now, uh, oh, and we also know what A is, because if you'll remember, A is the distance from the directrix to the vertex and also from the vertex to the focus. That's the same A distance. So we know right now that A has to be a 4. So now putting in what we know, we have x minus 0 squared, which is x squared, and then minus 4 times 4 would be a negative 16 times y minus 0, which is y. And now we can clean that up and say that's x squared equals negative 16y. So we could still come up with that equation. Now, as far as the endpoints of the lattice rectum, that's what's going to help us figure out how fat or how skinny to make our parabola. For the endpoints of the lattice rectum, if you'll remember, the lattice rectum is 4a units long. So if we know that our a value here was 4, then that means in this case the lattice rectum will be 16 units long. Because of symmetry, we'll have half on one side, half on the other side of the focus. So I'm going to go half to the left and half to the right so that it will open down. So I'm going to go 8 units, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 units to the left and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units to the right. Now it's a matter of playing name that point. The leftmost point we went negative 8 in the x direction and down 4 in the y direction. That's that left point. For the rightmost point we went 8 in the x direction and down 4. That's this point. And then because we also have graphed it as we've went, we can also go down here then and choose our correct graph fairly easily.